Okay, so in the last video, we added another player. We added the computer paddle. In this video, what we need to do is set our game up to keep score for both us, the player, and the computer. The way we're going to do that is by adding some logic to our ball. Go ahead and click on the ball and choose Edit. Click Behaviors. I went ahead and moved the collision and the restart game, and then the collision and the sound effect up a little bit, just so I had more space down here at the bottom. I definitely encourage you to do the same thing. It's going to take a little bit of space to add the keeping score logic, so we want to ensure we have plenty of room. I'm going to start by adding two collision nodes. One of these is going to be for when the player scores, meaning that the ball hits the left wall over here. And the other one is going to be for when the computer scores and the ball gets past our paddle and hits this right wall over here. It doesn't matter which is which, just make sure for type you switch it to the right wall for one and the left wall for the other. For object, you can just leave that. And having this top, bottom, left, and right checked just means it can hit anywhere on that wall. So I'm going to choose OK, and then I'm going to come here. And this one we're going to make left wall. So if you have this named player score or computer score, for example, just make sure you set one to either player or computer score and other node to the opposite wall. To keep score, we need numbers. We're going to go into logic and math and add a couple of numbers here. Drag these down next to our collision nodes. I'm going to go ahead and connect them so that the hit from collision goes into this increment input here. And let's do that again. Hit to the increment input on our number. These plus signs basically mean that every time there is a collision, this number is going to increase. Next, we need to get a couple of labels so that the score actually shows up on our game. Labels can be found in the GUI menu and choose Labels. Again, we will need two of them. Instead of it reading Label, I'm going to click on the node and set the score to be zero, which is the starting score. Notice you've got some options for your color and font style. I'm just going to leave mine as the default. I do, however, want to change the size. So instead of 10, I'm going to move this slider to 20 to double the size. For border, I'm going to leave it at none. Go ahead and click OK. Then I need to do the same thing here. Instead of reading label, I need to make it say zero. Again, I'm going to double the size and leave everything else the same, unless you want to change the color or font style. Next, I need to connect these nodes. We're going to connect out to value for each one. The alpha in value just tells us whether or not we're working with numbers, which is values or letters, which is alpha. Clearly, because we're keeping score, we want a number label, so we're going to connect to value. Before I do our last step, I just want to point out that when I added these labels, text appeared on our game. Originally, it read label. But because I changed the label to zero, now it reads zero. The text appears up here in the top left-hand corner. When I'm out of this logic mode and I'm back in the game mode where I can play the game, I can actually drag these labels around the screen, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm not going to move them quite yet, but I'm going to move them in just a second. The last thing I want to add here to the logic are sound effects. If I go to the components menu, I'm going to add two sound effects. You may want to add one sound effect, which is fine. I want to add two sound effects because when the player scores, I want the sound to be upbeat and positive. When the computer scores, I want the sound effect to be not so great. So for when the computer scores by hitting the right wall, I'm going to start right here. That means this sound effect needs to be one that is not so great. I'm going to choose this bass's sound. And I'm going to bring the volume down just a little bit so you can still hear me when I'm talking. You can leave yours loud if you'd like. Then for the second effect, I want it to sound a lot more upbeat because we the player have scored. So I'm going to scroll down to the space sound effects and select achievement. Okay, that sounds great. Again, I'm going to bring the volume down. 
choose OK. Now I need to connect these. I'm going to connect this out node to play. And let's do it for the other one, out node to play. Let's just test it by going into the full playing mode. Now I'm going to drag these scores over so that one is going to be for the player and the other is going to be the score for the computer. I forgot which one was which based on the color. So if they are backwards, I'll just switch them. But I'm going to go ahead and play the game. Let's see what I just scored and my score went up. So I do have the score on the right side. Now one thing to note is that when the ball hits the right wall, the game is restarting itself. What's going on here? Well, let's take a look at it. Go back to the ball logic. So here's our logic and I see the problem. Do you see the problem? What's happening here is that in a previous video, when it was just one player, we didn't have the computer paddle. We told the computer to restart the game every time the ball hit the right wall. And the logic is over here. Now that we have the computer playing, we don't want that to happen. We just want a collision with the right wall to give a point to the computer. So I need to come in here and delete this logic by just clicking and choosing delete. All right, let's try the game again. Choose okay. I'm going to let the ball hit the wall. Okay, perfect. So this score from the computer went up, which is what I wanted it to do, and hit the wall. All right, so the game did not restart. Instead, the computer scored it up. I just gave the computer a lot of points there. Okay, so this is how you can do it. In the next video, we are going to look at how to share our game. See you in the next video.